Julia's not a stripper. Uh, yeah, I uh, started an OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah. uh, you can oh, look God, me up. Just okay. out. <laughs> yeah, Casey, uh, Casey used that cut. Thank you. Can, yeah, you, yeah. Can, you can see uh, feet pics. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Big Mood. Not to toot our own horn, but we have like a really good episode coming up for you. But before we get into it, we are going to give a shout out to our sponsor, Native. My favorite part about this time of the year is the food. I just love all of the scents of the holidays. And this year, I get to also smell like the food with Native. Because you're a snack. I am quite a snack. Yes. Or as my husband says, a heavy lunch. But we don't, <laughs> we don't quote him, okay? He doesn't get to eat anymore. So Native has very very limited time holiday scents and oh my god they smell delicious mm -hmm. so i got sugar cookie deodorant and i got candy cane body wash and yes. i be smelling like the holidays all the time you can stay merry happy and fresh this holiday season and you will love natives limited time seasonal products as much as i do go to native deodorant.com slash big mood girls or use code big mood girls to get 20 percent off your first purchase at checkout that's native deodorant.com slash big mood girls or use code big mood girls at checkout for 20 percent off native deodorant.com code big mood girls Woo. and now for our main event <laughs> <laughs> guess who's on set today? guess who's back back She's again <laughs> we got julia in the house the one and the only julia chow yeah it's been a while guys how have you been oh I, you know honestly i've been living a really boring life oh, just been like waking I up love sitting here, like, hold on. Okay, can we can we cut can, can you say something more interesting than that yeah. can you just, <laughs> make it up? just make it up for your right no. here for our fans um yeah. um Julia's not a stripper. Uh, yeah, I uh, started an OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah. uh, you can oh, look God, me up. Just out. Out. <laughs> yeah, Casey, uh, Casey used that cut. Thank you, can, yeah, you, yeah. Can, you can see uh, feet pics. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Shoulders. You can see shoulders. more shoulders nice. now. Nice. What yeah. about tailbone? A lot of pickle mm, licking? Not yet, not yet. That's like top tier. That's for <laughs> the top tier people. Popsicle licking. Ooh. Oh, my God. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We yeah, that works. clip her saying I started OnlyFans and just blasted yeah! everywhere. <laughs> just that one clip. promo? Yeah, yeah for promo. I have the dramatic music. She calls yeah. us like, guys, I got fired. My boss yeah. saw the clip. <laughs> Dude, honestly, I was really thinking about it. I was like, should what? I open OnlyFans? <gasps> just because I'm like, yo, your girl needs money. Dude, you would oh, kill you it. Too? You My would fucking God. kill it. Girl, Julie, I'm telling you. i give you a job instead. <laughs> <laughs> On OnlyFans, yeah. like I'll be the manager. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do, let's do. Let's do you talk. crush it on OnlyFans? Are you okay. kidding me? Yeah, yeah I don't know. I was, of all the people, <sighs> this one. Seriously, yeah. this one. I feel like no, all of you guys would be good. No, no, no. no. You are the no, no, forbidden. No, you don't understand. You're the forbidden fruit. Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. Mm -hmm. The forbidden fruit. The, is the, the good girl. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good girl gone bad. Yes. Yeah. 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 If you showed like one under boob, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just just so would just cover the nip yeah. and then like just that tiny little bit of skin right there. You can pay off all the mortgages. <laughs> a little Sailor Moon outfit, but with just like the bib thing that she has. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll I'll save the reveal for a big mood episode. <gasps> so that way you guys can get some. Oh my god! Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Yeah, exclusive. You know what? You heard mm -hmm. it here first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right? We get exclusive here. Heard it here first news. <laughs> Love it. Um, okay, well. To get to know Julia a little bit better, for those of you who maybe don't know her, we are bringing back the We're Not Really Strangers game. Not sponsored at all, but check them out. We're Not Really Strangers. Check them out on Instagram, online. They have an online deck that's for friends, but they have a lot of other decks too, like a relationship. They have a lot and of decks. They have a lot of decks. Love their decks. Okay. <laughs> so and much. they have workplace ones. And basically what it is, is conversation starters to get you talking about stuff that's a lot deeper than just the small talk. I fucking hate small talk. Me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, this one is inner circle. This is the the deck we're using is inner <laughs> circle inner deck. deck. I like the inner deck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's for people that that feel like they know each other, and we'll see how how deep we really know each other. Ooh. And we've known each other. We've known Julia for quite a long time. Yeah. But do we know her? Do we really know, you know? each other? When did you, you come into JK? What year? Uh, two thousand thirteen. Almost ten years for me with you. Yeah. Holy shit! For yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah, a, I decade? Came in 2015. a decade, a decade, a decade. <laughs> I came in 2015, end of 2015. Yeah, so like, you came. I, I came. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> too, too much. <laughs> that was the last time she came. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the last time I came. Yeah, might as well be. It's been a while. <laughs> okay, so how it works is there's a couple different levels, and we're just gonna pass the phone around. This one makes it really easy because I put all of our names in, so it tells you whose turn it is. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Cute. Cool. 
I'll start with me because that's what it says. No it one says wants Nikki's to hear yours, I know. I, so make mine fast. You guys better know this answer. Okay, let's find out. This this question is what? What's on the back of your phone? Is that any sensitive information? Uh, it's my birthday. So yeah, it is. I, I'm fucking young. Don't try to look at that. <laughs> She's <laughs> like 12. born 2002. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do those people are 18 now? Or 19? Weird. Did you guys oh, see oh that TikTok God. where they said Too that old. they're referring the like uh the 90s and the 80s as the late 1900s? Yeah, I posted that. <gasps> How fucking dare you? Did yeah, you see seriously. that that meme that was like um I gave my bartender my ID and she took like half a second and gave it back and I was like hey, that was fast and she's like yeah I saw the 19. Yeah. 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 Like, oh if it's God. 19 something, yeah. then you're old enough. You're old enough. Yeah. I saw a TikTok where these kids, you know, like Spirit Week, dress up as 80s, dress up as yeah. 60s. They have a dress up as 2000s now. Oh my gosh. Like it's, what? Yeah, it's, am, we're we're a theme now. What? I am so yeah. offended that our music growing up is now considered oldies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. classic, classic. Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh my uh-uh. god. No <laughs> flashbacks. Okay, you guys, all you bitches, better okay. get this one. Okay. What do you think is my main love language? Ooh. What are they again? Their quality time, quality time. Service, touch, uh-huh. acts of service, gift, mm-hmm. gift giving, it's physical words touch. of affirmation. Yeah. yeah, not that one. Not the <laughs> gifts one. Acts of service or quality I time. Say acts, acts of, of service, service. Mm. and and acts of service and maybe words of affirmation. Yeah, I was no, thinking not more that no. words. Oh, she tells really? me they like to roast time. each other. That's her words of affirmation. <laughs> Tell me I'm a stupid dumb bitch. Yeah. Oh, she yeah. loves me. Yeah. <laughs> words but, of de-affirmation. Yeah. <laughs> if it if it was gifts, I don't know if you're if it's gifts because you give me gifts because knowing that's mine mm-hmm. or is it actually yours? No. 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 Okay. You guys hit it. Okay. Words well, of- actually, I think I'm a I think I'm a high maintenance love language person because I tied three. I've tied two, and then the third one was That's right underneath. That's not high maintenance. It. Everyone should get all of them anyway. They should. Yeah. But Fuck mine the were like languages. super high, and then the gifts and the words of affirmation were um, yeah. like non-existent. Oh, okay. uh, but the acts of service and the quality time were tied, and the physical touch was right underneath it. Mm. And I'm like, that Dang. makes sense because if any of those are lacking, I feel very unloved. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, you should get all of it. Ah, but you can like not give me gifts forever and yeah, never it's fine. praise me and I'd be fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who's next? Who's next? We got, uh, oh, I just, I think I just tap it. Yeah, I tap. So you tap the right hand side. Okay. So it's Julia's turn. Oh, okay. Um, what do you think I'm most sensitive to? Ooh, sunlight. Oh. <laughs> you know, you are not shoes. wrong. Yeah. Dude, literally, I peeled out so much during the quarantine. You don't even yeah. Dude, I feel like I could be a bounce board right now. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, you're yeah, as pale as me, for sure. <laughs> are oh, we? My, nat- my natural sky. I, I actually have fake tanner on, which is oh, funny gotcha. because I'm oh, still wow. the whitest one on the set. You have fake tanner on? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. should get a refund. Yeah. 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 Holy. Yeah. But, um, okay, what are you most sensitive to? Hmm. That is people, a good question. People backstabbing you. Or Ooh, people oh, take advantage of your niceness. Advantage of your niceness. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, I guess so, yeah. What have I seen? I actually, I've I never seen I've never you be about sensitive. That. Yeah, I've never thought about that. I feel like I've seen you cry, but I can't remember for what. Yeah. We were crying in France because we were talking about our love stories. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah that's we right. that was really cute. Yeah, it was really cute. We cried in Paris together because we were sharing <laughs> personal stories. It yeah. was really sweet. Someone um, cheating on you? Mm. That's anybody. Who wouldn't yeah. be sensitive to that? Yeah. yeah. Dude, I don't even know. Hold on, let me think about this. Yeah. What would hurt you the most? If your favorite Pokemon died in front of you? Stupid. Oh, God. God. <laughs> oh no. See? See? I know my girl. We've oh, roommate. No. We've roommated in like three different countries. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Hmm. Sunlight is still the best answer. <laughs> yeah. No, literally. No, seriously. Okay, check this out. All right. So I went to go see my doctor earlier this year because it was like maybe about almost like a year and a half or two years since I've last seen them just for a physical, right? I got my blood work done. I already kind of figured out what my results would have been, which is like like uh kind of like high cholesterol and then being mildly anemic. Oh. Those are those are the How two did you things. Get high cholesterol. I don't know. You're like I 12. Mean, it's probably yeah. all the sugar I drink from boba. Yeah. Oh, most likely. That's, that's like the high secret. cholesterol. Yeah, surprisingly oh. sugar. And Sugar's like the food? secret oh, one. I thought it would be food? like eggs. Not often. Yeah, I thought eggs. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, so I went to go uh see the um see the doctor, get my blood work. Those are the results. And mm. then I went to the pharmacy to um pick up some medication. And then it says, oh, it wasn't ready, but we can get you your vitamin D pills. And I was like, vitamin D? Like, what? Like, the, the supplement? They're like, yeah. And I'm like, 
okay. I was like, did your doctor not send you a message? I was like, I don't remember seeing a message. Like, yeah, they ordered it like a week ago. I'm like, okay, what? yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, yeah, l- let me pick that up. And they're like, okay, cool. Can you wait outside? And then I looked at the waiting room and it wasn't like that super crowded. But then I was like, okay, I guess like COVID, whatever, right? So I'm standing outside and I'm like, Vitamin D is like, you can get that from the sun. From like, the sun. Am I yeah. fucking pale that I need to stand out in the fucking sun just yeah. to get some vitamin D? And then later I get a text message like, hey, your vitamin D order is ready to pick up. And so I go in and then the pharmacist was talking to me and was like, hey, so um, you are severely deficient in <laughs> oh vitamin my D. God. Uh, so, That's uh, scary because it seems like COVID would be worse with someone yeah. who's very deficient too. Yeah. Plus, you, yeah. Yeah. Plus um, I was deficient in vitamin D and mm-hmm. my, my doctor was freaking out because she was like, She's like, you have to start taking taking this seriously because it can lead to like Alzheimer's and yeah. like deterioration of your brain. You can go senile quicker. Yeah, oh, dude. crap. Okay. Mm. Maybe I should Jeez. take this seriously. No, yeah. you should. You should. Oh. You definitely should because um, when the pharmacist was like, okay, we need you to put on like high dosage pills for 12 weeks. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, wait, what? How much? And she's like, we need you to take a high dosage pill once a week for three months. And I was like, three months. Wow. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So I pick up the package. I sit in my car. I'm like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, I can't believe you I ever stayed go inside. Do you outside and just sit in the sun? No. Like in the summer? Do you ever sit by the pool or mm-hmm. anything like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because like, either, really. my work hours are from 10 a.m. Yeah. to 7 p.m. And so by that time, like the sun is already setting, oh, like in yeah. the summertime. Yeah. So I don't really get much. But I didn't realize I was severely lacking yeah. in vitamin D because... I was looking up like what the symptoms were and it was like hair loss, skin issues. And those were the things that was happening throughout oh, the whole shit. entire year. And I was like, what the fuck is happening? Why is my hair falling out? Like, oh like my God. I know it falls out naturally, but it's just like, it was oh, such so a much. large amount that I was like, I don't even fucking know what's going on right now. Do you know what else is like, I was like, I did go out in the sun a lot, but yeah. I still was deficient. Yeah. Uh, my birth control was blocking the absorption. <gasps> so that's originally why I got off birth control. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that would do that. Mm-hmm. Oh man. I had a well it wasn't like a proven thing but then I was reading online that some birth controls can block and then after I got off I got uh, like absorbed the vitamin D so I'm like okay that definitely was it because that was the variable okay so how much sun do you need to get a day like to every have. person's different depends on your melanin and all that shit and, and you have it, to like show a lot enough skin you have to have like 75 oh, yeah. percent of your body in oh the sun or i thought something. you stick my foot out the sun no a little bit. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so just, no just stick it out and then it just absorbs no. from here and it goes all through your body are you serious <laughs> no you need all, all of your body there. yeah yeah no I think you so. get like 15 minutes a day would probably be okay okay to start yeah. wear your spf though just cover your face yeah. i mean yeah. i drive 30 minutes to work every day in the sun does that count hmm no, it's not enough no. for your body. <laughs> through yeah. a window, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. or at least just like take supplements. You can always do that too. I'm just sit outside naked. So, what do you think yeah. you're really sensitive about, though? Really, like emotionally, do you <clears throat> have something that like <clears throat> when people do this one thing, it really hurts you? When how about like if friends like leave you, or people ghost you, or people who? Like, what do Damn, do? yeah, no, that's honestly that's like such a good question because I haven't really thought about it. I think it's just like when people say one thing and then they do the other yeah yeah because i think for me i'm just like oh okay i thought it's like a break of trust yeah kind of and i'm like okay yeah sure i guess you know and i guess i guess really confused about it Mm -hmm. i don't know i can't really think of one in particular sometimes it's hard to know unless you've like been through something kind of traumatic and you're like well this person did this thing and then like you know i'm sensitive to this yeah, and I exactly. know it. I just yeah. missed her so much. <laughs> Do you have one for Miss Gina? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, it only gave us us two for the first level. And then oh. so I just went to level two. This oh. is close friends. And uh, it's Gina's turn. Okay. Here, do this one with Jess because it says Julia. <laughs> hmm? All right. Uh, asked me something you think is off limits. Jess. Me? Yeah. Both players. Yeah. Oh, so I have to ask you one? Huh? Mm-hmm. And you have to ask me one? Oh, what do I think is off limits with you? you ask me something you think is off limits. Like an off, a question that you would think is off limits for me. Oh, crap. I don't know. I got that's That's hard. What do I think is off limits? I don't know. I don't really have any off limits or off limits boyfriend stuff. questions oh oh yeah <laughs> oh shit that's How true you don't have to answer is his penis <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> what would be off limits i feel like she would probably tell me anyway yeah. um but like on camera yeah that's a on way different yeah that's way different yeah. yeah 
What would be off limits to ask Jess? We're just like in a stare down. <laughs> what would be off limits to ask Miss Gina? <laughs> I, don't, I can only come up with Jess, can you watch my cat for a month? No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> That's not awful. Oh, or Jess, can you go I think on... it's about, it's not about doing something. I know. It's about personal It's the only thing, thing I can come up yeah, with. Yeah, the exactly. audience is like, you better give us something good. Right? right? Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, What's your IQ? I don't even know what that I is. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> only nerds know that shit. Damn. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Like, what's your dirtiest secret? Yeah, well, it's all out there. That's is out it? there. Everything? Yeah. What? What's not even limits? one that you've kept to yourself uh, doubt I would tell you yeah <laughs> <laughs> so is that off limits <laughs> no Jess what's your dad's name you never talk about you never say his name I don't know if you keep it private maybe yeah yeah that's a thing I don't know right yeah I guess I so that's off maybe limits. like family personal family information yeah but yeah this is hard. Is if hard, we were sitting yeah. here privately, if we weren't yeah. on camera, it would be a lot easier. Yeah. Like, hmm, so I really want to know this. All right, yeah. skip to Jess, because these are gonna take a while yeah. anyway. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay, let's see. All right, maybe we'll find something juicy and then we'll figure it out. <laughs> They're gonna be so disappointed. If you if you yeah. come, if you think of one later, like that gets sparked by it, then yeah. maybe we can revisit it. Say yeah. like, oh, I yeah. have something that might be off limits to ask. So we'll come back. Because there's a difference between off limits between us and off limits with camera. Yeah, in and that's yeah. 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 yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. So, um, what is a moment in our relationship that you felt undeniably loved? Oh, by us? I, wait, I'm supposed to answer it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I can't recognize or love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Does not no! detect. Cannot <laughs> detect. Yeah, like, We're all crying, but Jess, what about that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about we had? Um. So if I answer it for you guys, um. Jesus, I know when we were at Big Bear and I was like crying because it was like my mom's anniversary oh, death. Yeah. And then Gina oh. came up to me specifically and was holding me because she noticed my energy was weird. And she was just holding me. She wasn't asking me anything or making me talk about it or anything, but she held me. So that was one with Gina. Yeah. Um, Nikki. I don't know. I just fucking hate you. I love, I love her. I'm always roasting her, telling yeah. her she's ugly and stuff. So. Yeah. Like, I don't know. She's always feeling loved by me. Um, yeah, I don't know. Gosh, it's so difficult because like I don't get I feel like for me, love is kind of like where I get uncomfortable. So yeah. if, I've, if I like Gina showing me that much support and comfort, it was almost so uncomfortable that it stood out as love to me where oh. I was like, oh, this is like repulsive because it's so. She's like, trying to back off. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, so, like, 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 like yeah, you know, yeah. stay. So like, I don't think a lot of pe I let a lot of people feel comfortable enough to show me that much love mm. for me to even accept it. So yeah. I think that's kind of hard for me to answer. Yeah. And I don't think that I necessarily make other people feel that loved either. Hmm. particularly or not like in such an obvious gushy way yeah like maybe like the fact that i'm always there proves it but yeah. i don't know that i do think that's kind I of mean, like how i feel too yeah like mm -hmm. i feel like you know any of you could call me at any hour of the day yeah. and i would be there mm -hmm. but i don't know if i've like done like a standout act yeah that's like i got man i Have like I ever put a lot of thought into else? my my christmas gifts i, I got <laughs> yeah. you like a yeah. some olive a wood uh cheese oh, knives yeah, yeah, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. for your that charcuterie yeah. charcucci bar charcucci <laughs> board, charcucci board, charcucci yeah. board. <laughs> hmm. i don't know yeah i feel loved by the amount of uh like like the way that you show love like so each person's different in the way that they show love and i feel like you're the type that shows love by like being there you know mm -hmm. like in um like you won't just like leave someone hanging like you're dependable mm -hmm. you know like when we have an issue with someone outside the group like you'll go do whatever it takes to to like resolve the issue or make people feel good or if, if there's like an argument or dispute you won't just like let it hang there mm -hmm. you know like we'll we resolve it and i feel like those things like all build like a deeper relationship that yeah. it's mm -hmm. like to me that i feel loved yeah, I felt, I felt like when I was um, co-hosting on JK News uh, with Tiff and then you came in to help on with like finding articles and mm -hmm. stuff like that, I felt like my back was covered when mm -hmm. you're just like, I just want to make sure that like you guys don't get trashed, talked on. And then you yeah. started like tearing up a little bit. I was like, just teared up. Just, <laughs> just a little bit. Like her voice was all shaky. <gasps> she was like, she's like, I don't, I don't want you guys to... 
to get like <laughs> to get like bashed on and yeah. i was like wow oh shit i was like okay yeah 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 yeah, yeah fucking cover my back yeah, yeah, yeah. let's do this <laughs> and i just remember i was like yes because yeah. i think at that time you were still pretty new into mm-hmm. the company so i was like damn this girl has so much care <laughs> there was this one yeah. particular time that i felt very loved by you but i don't know if i could talk about it on camera so because we had sex, so. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I don't believe that now. No, it was when, like, I wanted to die. And mm-hmm. you showed up at my door when I didn't even, like, want anybody to come over. Mm-hmm. And you were you were just there. You're like. Suicide watch, basically. Yeah. 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 I think your strong suit when it comes to showing love are your words. Mm-hmm. Whether it be giving advice or um, comforting us. Like, you might not be the hugging, I love you, I'll buy mm. you something. It's more like, hey, get your shit together. I'm here for you. You're a tough love person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like, there are so many times when I'm, like, texting the group in the middle of the night where everyone else is asleep. And you're like, all right, I'm going to call you right now. Like, we're just going to FaceTime. And you're you're just there to talk and you give sound advice. You're very, um, you defend your friends a lot. Mm-hmm. And that's where I find love in you. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Thanks, guys. Yeah. yeah. I guess I do show some sort of love. Yeah. <laughs> Even cactuses provide dead. water. Yeah. <laughs> cactuses can cactus provide shade. shade. Providing water have and some shade. flowers yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. You can eat a cactus, you know, yeah. sustenance. <laughs> Tiff is dying in the background. <laughs> She's just crying. <laughs> okay. I'm a little nopalito. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing Loteria. So cute. <laughs> Learned. <laughs> no pal. No pal. Hey. It's getting a little emotional in here, but you know what makes me even more emotional is wine. (laughs) And boy, did I get to try a lot of really good ones from Bright Cellars. Mm -hmm. Like legit, they do a fantastic job of answering the quiz. You you take a quiz and they don't even ask you wine questions. They ask you like, what's your favorite candy? Mm -hmm. And what's your favorite, uh, you know, popcorn or whatever? And then they send you wines that you're like, oh my God. They nailed it. Yeah. They absolutely nailed all my bottles of wine. Yeah. I still have one that I'm like saving because I'm like, okay, these wines were too good and I'm a cheap ass and like these are actual good wines. Um, But anyway, uh, fall is coming and if you're like me, that means cozy sweaters, pumpkin spice lattes and switching over to red wine. Oh, I'm a hella red wine drinker. If you're a seasonal wine drinker or just looking for a change of pace this fall, you need to try Bright Cellars. They make it super easy for you to discover wines you love. Talked about that. They do a quiz. It's really easy. They have sommeliers source their wines from all over the world to assure each box has new wines you have not tried awesome and then all the wines come with education cards so you can learn about the wines the tasting notes like what it pairs with you know all the fancy stuff you can impress your friends you're like do you know that these pork chops pair perfectly with this wine this (laughs) pinot noir this fruit forward pinot noir this wine pairs pairs perfectly with the salt from your tears when you're crying oh my god (laughs) All wines. All, All wines, wines, honestly. <laughs> Perfect for date night, wine tasting, or finding your new favorite wine for a Netflix binge. And speaking of red wine, I had the most amazing Pinot Noir from them. Oh my God. It was like the perfect balance of smooth and like not too heavy or meaty and doesn't make you do that that pucker thing. Oh, yeah. You know, and it wasn't like too bitter. It was like nice and sweet and it was wonderful. Just absolutely delightful. I highly recommend. And the best part is if you don't like a bottle of wine, Bright Sellers offers a delay guarantee and will send you a replacement bottle in your next nice. order. So you can try it and you're like, no, take it back. Garcon. I chugged it already. <laughs> yeah. I can send another one. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Help support us by supporting Bright Sellers for a limited time. Big Mood listeners get 50% off their first six bottle Whoa, wine box by 50. going. That's a lot. By going to brightsellers.com slash mood. It's basically six bottles of wine for the price of three. So get 50% off your first box. Head to brightsellers.com slash mood. Link in bio. That's B-R-I-G-H-T C-E-L-L-A-R-S dot com backslash mood. Bright Sellers helping you discover a wine you'll love. You know where my favorite place to drink wine is? Right out, straight out of the bottle. Where? <laughs> On my purple mattress. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, comfy. It's very comfy. Classy. Yeah. Drink yeah. and pass out and not have to move at all. Uh, there are all these gimmicks that promises a great night's sleep. And I don't care what kind of toppers they are or how heavy a blanket might be. It's not that great. If you're sleeping on a terrible mattress, your sleep will be terrible. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. That's why I recommend sleeping on a purple mattress. Only purple mattresses have the Gel Flex Grid. It's a super stretchy, ultra squishy material that adapts and flexes around pressure points and doesn't retain heat at all. The Gel Flex 
Flex Grid is amazingly supportive for your back and legs while cushioning your shoulders, neck, and hips, no matter how you sleep. Unlike memory foam, which remembers everything, the Gel Flex Grid purple mattresses bounce back as you move and shift. You'll never have that I'm stuck feeling uh, that people get with their memory foam. Try your purple mattress risk-free with free shipping and returns. Financing is available too. Uh, I recently got the the pillow. It's a very it's a very strange little pillow. It's squishy, mm -hmm. but I've been hunting for a good like side sleeper pillow for a long time, and there's a bunch of Brands are like, oh, we make the perfect side sleeper pillow and it sucked. But with purple, I've actually been sleeping really I good. I like the way it yeah. feels. Like, yeah. actually, like, because when you see the grid on TV, you don't, you're like, maybe it's kind of hard or something. Yeah. It's, it's like, actually really it's squishy. It's actually really soft, like squishy. It's yeah. a lot softer than it looks and it feels really good. And it stays really cool. Like, yeah. that pillow, because I got the same pillow too. Like, I just, like, just by moving it around, I could feel like how cold it feels yeah. already. It feels, it feels cold. Nice. And it doesn't on my make body. your pillow flat. Like, you know how when yeah. you're sleeping through the night, like, your pillow gets flatter mm -hmm. and then you're not as supported? It, like, stays the same level mm -hmm. of support yeah uh, getting a great night's sleep starts with having a great mattress. Get a purple mattress. Right now, you'll get 10% off any order of $200 or more. Go to purple.com slash bigmood10 and use promo code bigmood10. That's purple.com slash bigmood10. Promo code bigmood10 for 10% off any order of $200 or more. Again, that's purple.com slash bigmood10. Promo code bigmood10. Terms apply. Yay. All right, here's a fun one to break up the emotions. Mm. Uh, so it says, this is a wild card and my partner's Julia. Mm -hmm. So Julia, we're going to sing our favorite song lyrics that you can think of off the top of your head, both of us. Okay. Whatever your favorite song is, whatever my favorite song is. Uh -huh. Okay, ready? Okay. One, two, three. Nowadays, if everybody wants to talk about the gossip the same. Yeah. 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 We knew it was going to be I was listening for Julia. <laughs> yeah, was yeah. I love that song. Wow, I wouldn't yeah. expect that. That's awesome. Yeah. That's a cute song. I totally forgot all the lyrics, even though it's my favorite song. Yeah. yeah. It's been a it's been a while. I mean yeah. you probably don't still listen to it every day, right? Yeah, no, no, yeah. It's hard that remembering the, lyrics well. Things are getting better. Yeah. Okay, we really all need to go on a karaoke night. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be fun. That's a an oldie. It, oh, that's okay. a classic. That's literally no, a classic. I refuse. I refuse. What is that from like 2003 or four? It's old now. Oh shit, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. They said that Gen Z, how they see the 90s, is how we saw the 60s. Oh god. <sighs> Yeah, oh my that's my heart. Not Whoa, cool, dude. Shut up, Gina. Go Ouch, away. Right? Go away. Stop picking on me. <laughs> I gotta get off TikTok. I gotta get off TikTok. You're bullying. <laughs> I could find you now. Okay, so for these, I think just read the question as if it's addressed to you. Okay. Well, okay. I don't like know. how Jess did. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what are you currently working through that I don't see? So what are you working through that we don't no. see? That you're willing to share with the world. Um... <laughs> I think um, vitamin D deficiency. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, that uh, no, tackling that, that yeah. down. <laughs> yeah, we uh, can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tackling that down, but also um, trying to like quiet down that little voice in my head, where it's just like. I was like, oh, I don't know if you can do this like at this time, or mm. I don't know if you can do this right now. I was like, do you do you even have the ability to do things Self like this? The oh. kind of, syndrome. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like there are things that I I would like to do, but I think the person inside my head is like, oh, I don't know about that. And then typically when that happens, I'm like, okay, mm. <laughs> they just like is kind that of related let it go. to just like your personal life or your work life. Or? Yeah. So it's like, mm, it's like. So I'm like a production coordinator for an animation company right now. And I've only thought about staying as a coordinator for a while. And then people are like, you should become a manager. Like a manager would be the next step. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't know if I'm like ready to be a manager. So it's like kind of talking myself down already mm -hmm. without having to see the potential of me becoming a manager. Would so you like, like to be a manager or is it just because it's the next step? Like, or is that something you want to do? Or is it something that you just don't think you can do? I feel like it's something I think I can't do. Mm, but yeah. you would want to. Yeah, I would okay. love to. Yeah, yeah you, you know, do I would it love then. to. But then, like, I think for me, I'm just like, I don't know if That's I have the skills. That's a very yeah. sad feminine trait that I think a lot of us have. Mm. I mean, I, in the workforce, it's a it's a very, very common thing for women to undervalue their actual abilities and to be like, oh, if I can't do it at 110 percent, then I'm yeah. not qualified. Yeah. yeah. But, exactly. you know, a lot of people actually do things before they're qualified and then they figure it out. Mm. And that's how you move to the next step. So that's yeah. how yeah. right now, too. It's common to think yeah. that Get thrown in there. But it's yeah. wrong. Yeah. You're not. You're you're. Yeah. You can. yeah. I know. You can. So I'm yeah. working on like manifesting that yeah. a lot more and just 
just telling myself was like, yeah, that is your goal. You should hit that goal. Yeah. Like you should try and learn like things that can make you become a manager. Yeah. And then that way, you know, you're never you're never going to be prepared until you're there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So working on that. Woo. I mean, you've been through yeah. a lot of shit, yeah. crazy stuff with us. I think you're prepared for a lot. Yeah, yeah. you can handle more Dude, than you think. Exactly. Exactly. Seriously, like when I'm working, because like I, I just it's pretty much I'm working from home and I'm working off of my laptop and I'm just sitting in front of it. And I totally forget that I had a YouTube career. Yeah, mm. like oh. there are days where I completely forget about it. But then I know that all of you guys are my friends. Yeah. And like all of you guys are like are on YouTube and I'm like, wow i live that life yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. i completely forget and i'm like That's wow so funny, it yeah. just blows my mind and then when people are like yeah can I, I have like youtube questions to ask you and i'm like sure i'll try to answer whatever i can and mm. then <laughs> it just reminds me it's like oh yeah i was on youtube yeah. do, you miss, do, you, do you miss the camera at all being fun um i don't know i mean i feel like it feels so second nature right yeah that like if it is on or if it's not on it's just it's normal yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah, but I mean, I don't. I don't know if I miss the camera per se. I just miss seeing my friends. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that working you. from home thing kind of kind of sucks after a while. I feel like I don't yeah. know. I think you're one of the people that's like your life quieted down a lot, yeah. a lot, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, like because we're still in front of the camera running around, and you like you really just mm -hmm. are now like a quieter. Mm -hmm. more behind the scenes mm -hmm. stuff yeah whenever i see a, a, a julia picture pop up i'm like oh my god yeah, yeah. Julia, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. i seriously haven't posted in months because i just felt like there's nothing to different say yeah. Yeah. yeah it's hard it's crazy i've been yeah. posted on my instagram in like a year <laughs> oh <laughs> really yeah How wow come? my oldest or yeah well i did archive YouTube stories my, i did archive my uh car photo but before that it was just when we were at that that house at airbnb doing all those oh, photos wow, that was the, over a year ago i was wearing yeah. like the green yeah. pants and yeah. the black shirt yeah like i haven't posted anything i do wow. stories i guess that's yeah different, yeah it's there's different. nothing instagram's boring anyway all wow. right uh, gina koshina yeah here you go okay oh uh, weird okay <laughs> how can i add how can i add one percent more happiness to your life just show up more Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. Just be around. That was blunt. <laughs> yeah. I knew that was the answer. I'm like, why am I even asking? Yeah. yeah, like if we invite you, like just come. <laughs> I'm a very remote friend. I'm yeah. like a, I'm a, I'm a, Hands off. a zoom in, like, yeah. a zoom meeting yeah. friend. Like yeah. when she shows up, we're like, oh, Gina came. Yeah, Gina like, showed up. Well. <laughs> it's even worse now. Yeah. yeah. Like, because you have too many responsibilities yeah. to mm -hmm. also be like a friend. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How about you? Yeah. But you were close. Respond to my text. Oh, I respond to you. Oh, 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 see the shit real quick. Oh, oh, I swear to God. Let me laugh when Julia texts me. It's only sometimes. It's only sometimes. Who's left on red? It's only Who's sometimes. On red? <laughs> Julia. Here you go. Did you leave her? Oh, oh shit, is that you true? Left, did you no, leave her? actually. Okay. Yeah. But it's like, it was like a, yeah. Yeah, but I didn't get a confirmation. I did not. Yeah, see, you didn't text I her back. Diverted. I you said, didn't text same, her back. I miss you too. Let's grab a meal sometime. And then oh, it was you left her on silence. for a lunch? Ooh. Well, there was a time where she didn't <laughs> eat. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes you can say it. Okay. <laughs> I'm a very, I'm a very, like, I like to call myself like a low maintenance friend. Like, mm, I yeah, don't yeah, need yeah. to see you and you don't need to see me. I mean, you probably, yeah. like, you yeah. guys are different. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, like but. cats. Yeah, we're like cats, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I want to come cuddle, like, when I want to cuddle. Yeah. But, like, other than that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But just, just know now. I love you. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Just know that I love you. Just leave it yeah. at that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's what I learned. Like, if you don't respond, I'm like, that's Gina. Yeah. <laughs> I'm way more high maintenance than that. Because even like, my, if I don't oh, see you, then you don't fucking love me. Fuck you. Because yeah. <laughs> like I said, my best friend from high school, I was like in her wedding and everything. She lives two miles away from me. And at one point I saw her like <laughs> twice a year. A year. Yeah. 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 I think one of them is for your birthday, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened to me. The, my best friend from high school that you remind me of, that mm -hmm. I always tell you, you remind me, you're just like her. Mm -hmm. She moved to LA and I see her less than I've ever seen her. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Mm -hmm. but I, I think it's just it's one of those like if uh something goes wrong i'm there yeah you know yeah. like I'll, I'll i'll be right there but i'm just i spend a lot of my time just exhausted and passed out so if yeah. you guys want to hang out just come and wake me up yeah <laughs> <laughs> come nap with you there you go all right this is for jeez <laughs> i have to answer this you say jess yeah it says what's the hardest truth you had to face this past year oh, oh you got a difficult hardest one. truth I don't know what's hard. Um, dang, that's crazy. 
that maybe the idea that I had of love doesn't exist. Aww. So that I don't know, I guess because I grew up, you know, as a, as a kind of an abandoned child, I placed all of my ideas of life off of media right and so even still at 35 i'm having to unravel like i'll watch a show and i'm like oh i want that guy to be my husband but that guy doesn't exist because that guy's just a story that's written by a writer and it just doesn't that kind of stuff doesn't seem real you know what i mean like the all the idealistic versions of people i feel like and the world doesn't exist anymore like the world as it actually is is just not really what i thought it would be when we got older you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. there's like certain qualities that you find important that you just name as like non-negotiables. But then the rest, like, yeah, there's no perfect person. But yeah. I think that just like I think the idea of love of someone that can support you that like and not just not financially, but just like it supports you as a person mm-hmm. and like gets you, I think, like understands you to be understood. I feel like is is that that kind of love and and to have someone that's has your same life values and you guys just have like a good time together yeah i, I think know. that does exist but when but i yeah. just look at people and like how they are how the dating scene is like how just how people just are i'm like i don't like any of them you know like just in general i'm just like i just don't like anybody mm-hmm. it's weird and i'm like i didn't think that that's how it was gonna be but maybe you know I'll change my mind later. Yeah. Every position in life is temporary. But yeah. I wouldn't necessarily call it like a hard truth. Yeah. But Mm -hmm. maybe just some adjustments you're making right now to like be okay with the outcome. Like maybe you were really attached to an outcome, a specific outcome. And now you're learning to be more open. Now I have like like zero outcome. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing now. Like nothing is probably what I wanted, but maybe something else will be there later. I don't know. Something that might surprise you. Yeah. With like that you didn't even expect that you like better. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you were too attached before and like it wasn't, it was blocking the better thing that's coming. Yeah. How yeah. bad is that? Cause that's, that's is that bad? bad. Yeah. Okay. It's driving me crazy for sure. We could pause. All right. We're back. And so sorry if you've been hearing hammering in the background. <laughs> we just took a quick break because uh, the neighbors next door are hammering. They're hammered. They're so hammered. <laughs> they're just hammering for they're some hammering reason on a, a Saturday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're not, and that's not code for sex. Like they're literally, that's a hammer. There's yeah. a hammer. So unless that's that. hammered something. dick. Doubt it. <laughs> Doubt it though. <laughs> um. Anyway, so it's my turn. Uh. So who in your life do you feel you can be most vulnerable with? Explain. I mean, we know. I feel like that's yeah. easy. Yeah, that. Maybe someone else who's the second most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That okay, so one. Steve, for those of you who didn't yeah, know, we my know husband, that. that's obviously um, second most. I mean, maybe does it... No, it doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to be someone here. Yeah. I mean, you're, someone, someone in your, your family life? might be the... Yeah, I mean, my mom. Should I tell her everything? She's always been there. I think she knows more about me than anyone except for Steve. Yeah. Steve probably knows the most about me, and then she's second. That's great because like I don't neither of my parents would have been my first or second Mm. choice. So that's special that you have that. I think. Mm. Yeah. 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 She's always been like a great therapist when I didn't have a therapist. Yeah. That's what parents are supposed to be there for. Oh no, no, no. no. (laughs) No. Cause your therapy to help you some. Yeah. They did both. Yeah, (laughs) true, true. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Easy. Easy peasy. Here you go. I saw Mm. a quote once that said for all you parents out there, I hope when your kids grow up, they still think you're as cool as they thought they were. Or you were when you yeah, were a kid. I know. When they were a kid, yeah. yeah. Okay, so it says my partner for this one is you, Nikki. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So it says wild card. Set an intention for this next week. Stick to it. Both of us? Yeah, I guess so. Our own intentions or a group Why intention? Do you need a I guess it could that. be anything, really. They just hmm. said set an intention for the next week. Do I have to tell you? I yeah, just, I, I mean, see. this is kind of like people are watching us play this game. So yeah, we gotta. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a secret. <laughs> secret? Yeah. Oh, be better at butt stuff. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Open my butthole like, more. It's like just fourteen. Why now. would you serve Why? the patriarchy in that manner? <laughs> dilate my dilate butthole. More. My butthole. <laughs> no, thank you. It's a it's a sympathy dilation for a Tiff. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Gross. An intention, yeah. Uh, um, it's, it, does that mean like anything, like anything you, you intend to do, to do mm. in the next week? I would that maybe like could help to try to relax my brain 
Okay. Yeah. And I was like, what? Yeah. I was on a slide. I was like, are you still doing this joke? Yeah. Or or okay. 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 You got it. Okay. Okay. Oh, you that butthole. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, I had a really hard time relaxing. <laughs> and we're supposed to go to like this retreat, this like big mood retreat thing. Mm-hmm. And we've oh, been planning nice. it forever. But it's like the craziest week right now. Yeah. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't know how I'm going to be able to relax. So I'm, I'm going to try to be Only for two present. days. I'm going to try to be present. Yeah. Yes. To be mindful. Is that what that's? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Be mindful. Mindfulness. What about you, Julia? Yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to wake up at either eight thirty or nine. How'd you do that? What do you? Off? You have a normal That's job terrible. though, right? What I do. do when do you wake up? Like right at t- five minutes before? <laughs> Fuck <laughs> yeah! Again? I fucking love my sleep. Yeah. But okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to wake up a little earlier because I do feel like I should set a morning routine for myself. So what's but, your morning routine gonna be? Mm, drink some water. Okay. Good. Um. Take, take your vitamin D. Yeah, take your <laughs> vitamin D. Uh, take the dogs out to go pee. And then maybe, like, clean a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. like that. Yeah, I think I kind of want to start that. But Meditate. I have never successfully tried meditating. She'll probably just meditating. fall asleep. I yeah, imagine literally. if you try to meditate, you would just pass yeah. out. No, literally. <laughs> like, yeah. I think if any of the times I try to meditate, I'm just like, yeah, especially so you're, relaxed. Like, woke, waking yeah. up nor- <laughs> earlier than normal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So... I'm going to try to do that. Okay. I'll hold yeah. you to it. We'll yeah. text each other in a week. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> and I'll respond on like some people here. Oh. You just got <laughs> thank you. Thank out. you, Nikki. I really appreciate that. I just need a confirmation. Well, maybe yeah. one thing you could clean uh, is your laundry. Perhaps maybe your sheets. Oh, shit. <laughs> Our sponsor this week is Etitude. Yay. The dirty little not so secret about the bedding aisle is that while cotton might be the most popular fabric for sheets, duvets and pillowcases it's also the most damaging to our planet that's why i'm so thrilled to introduce you to etitude which offers sustainably made bedding sleepwear bathware and accessories made all from 100 percent organic bamboo fabric mm. i absolutely love yeah. edit- these are these are probably the best sheets i've ever the had. best sheets mm. hands down i've never felt like because i have really sensitive skin so i've never really felt something that was just so soft that also because my skin's very dry and it gets irritated easily so like even cotton or like um even those t-shirt mm-hmm. feeling type of jersey oh, jersey, jersey yeah. type of yeah they upset my skin as well this bamboo fabric i don't know what how they do it but it's, it's like just you're so sleeping soft. in a cloud yeah it's so soft and it doesn't bother my skin and even the pillow sh- covers i feel like they don't mess up my hair yeah. they don't they don't you know because like uh pillow cases can damage your hair too so a lot of people wear silk but i don't even feel like i need silk Mm-mm. like this bamboo is as soft as silk i love it um anti Cotton. Unlike cotton, which consumes massive amounts of water, energy, and chemicals during production, Etitude uses organic bamboo, which is the most resource-efficient plant on our planet. Etitude's 100% organic bamboo fabric has a unique, silky, smooth, and feathery soft texture that is similar to silk. It delivers unparalleled comfort that actually feels better than cotton, uh, 100%. Their passion is to provide the best quality sleep in the most sustainable way. Etitude's organic bamboo fabrics are temperature regulating, hypoallergenic, antibacterial, and toxin free. Try Etitude bedding for 30 nights. If you're not completely satisfied, return it for a full refund. Yes. I love mm. the option of a full refund. There's no risk to try. You will not right. be returning these. I no, guarantee you. Won't. You. <laughs> you won't. You cannot I want go more. back. I want so many more. We want more. Right now, you can get 20% off your order plus free shipping when you visit etitude.com slash mood and enter promo code mood. Remember, that's etitude as in eco attitude. Order today for free shipping and 20% off your order at etitude.com slash mood and use the promo code mood. And before you go to bed in your awesome bed sheets, you should always brush your teeth with brush. Yes. Brush. I like this toothbrush. Brush. It's all black. It looks so cool. It's really cool. It looks really cool. It's an electric toothbrush. Um, going to the dentist can be really nerve wracking, so you should definitely take care of your teeth. It's super convenient because they have a subscription program where they send you new brush heads so you don't have to go out and buy different toothbrushes. Yeah, because or... some people don't change out their toothbrush and have, that's really yeah. gross. Have you seen <laughs> people's toothbrushes just like splayed yeah. out? Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? Men. Yeah. Men. Yep. Man, yeah. I've only seen you know, Steve got mad. That was one of the first fights we ever had because I threw away his toothbrush. I was going to replace it with a new one, and he got so fucking oh mad God. at me. It's like flat. <laughs> yes, he was Guys, completely mad. To- this this is helpful. Split. They will help you know when it's time to change your toothbrush. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's also six unique modes to customize your brushing experience. There's a four week battery life. 
a magnetic charging stand, and a compact travel case. You never have to forget to change your brush head ever again because Bruce ships you a new replacement head every six months. That's weird. I only brush like once a week, so why don't I? <laughs> <laughs> so you're never stuck using a worn down toothbrush head. Uh, it's also very, very sleek. Bruce's electric toothbrush has a modern, aesthetically pleasing design, comes in seasonal colors, and looks great on your bathroom counter. Mine, the one that I have is all black. And that's yeah, the that one, one looks I want. really great. I have a goth toothbrush. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get $15 off your Bruce toothbrush kit and refill plan when you use the code MOOD at Bruce.com. That's $15 off using code MOOD at B R U U S H.com. That's two use. Once again, go to Bruce.com and use code MOOD for $15 off your Bruce toothbrush kit and refill plan. Two use, two Ooh, means. Dang. It's like a, it's like All a right. tongue twister. Yeah. <laughs> that was Julia's turn. So, okay, Gina, on you. Gina, okay. Gina, Cochina. Oh, yeah, banana, so banana, Gina. Banana, Cofina. Uh, when was the last time you felt most yourself? Mm. Hmm. Do you ever not? You're feel never like not yourself. I'm not yeah. 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 Do you ever not feel yeah. like yourself? Uh, I don't know. Like you've been when... pretty consistently this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty consistent, right? Yeah. yeah. I guess when I'm alone at home on yeah. my bed with no pants on and just gross <laughs> with my cat mm -hmm. and yeah, that's when about you're as... just gross. Yeah, when I'm just you feel most gross. Yeah, you you post yourself. <laughs> Makeup off and hair all greasy. Cheetah dust on your nipples. And... Yeah, <laughs> cheetah dust. Plucking my nipple hairs in the mirror. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's about it. Yeah, I feel pretty consistently myself. Yeah, so like there's not really. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Boring. <laughs> Boring. All right. How about you, Jess? Okay. Um. Have I ever challenged your worldview, and how so? On oh, I guess you're asking us that then. Yeah. Mm. Seems like it. Um, I think aliens are real and you don't. Have I changed? <laughs> or have I, okay, so have I challenged? Yeah, you're okay, like. Okay, so I've challenged your worldview that aliens I'm like, exist. yeah, you think we're the only fucking people in this entire universe? No, I never said the that. What I said was, beings. I don't think that they're here just crawling around all over our planet. Yeah, I don't think they're crawling. They're aliens. They're more high, highly intelligent than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, aren't they like reptilian or something? I don't think that they're, they're probably morphing here, around all over the place. actively on our planet. I think mm -hmm. aliens exist just based on statistics. Okay, okay. but then I was like, I don't think you think here. that have they ever visited? No. And she's like, no. Maybe I'm ancient like, aliens, I'm open to that. Never, but not right now. I don't and think they're here right now. No, sorry. Well, I didn't say here right now. I said it ever, <laughs> and she's like, no. No, I said ancient aliens was feasible for and me. And we're fighting. <laughs> we're, we're in a fight now. They're in a fight now. What about yeah. you, challenging Gina? My Have world you ever challenged your worldview? Not really, because you and I agree on a lot. Of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't know if I've ever challenged no. you on anything, Julia. Mm -mm. We didn't get a lot of a whole lot right. of FaceTime. No, together. we didn't. But, yeah. I mean, if I had to pick one thing from i think what could kind of apply was to not be a hoarder to not be a hoarder yeah 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 <laughs> to talk shit about your hoarding no 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 you okay. never talk shit directly <laughs> okay. but i i do like i guess like when when it was like time to like clean up stuff mm -hmm. at the office or whatever you're like we don't need that and i'm like but I think we do. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Eventually we'll use this. Yeah, like, I'm I like, no, do. throw it away. Yeah. We don't need it. And like, I think that's something that I can appreciate because mm -hmm. I feel like I've learned hoarding from the best of the best, which is my, my, my parents. <laughs> yeah. um, they hoard in different ways. And I think I've got both. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like the ultimate hoarder yeah. in my own world. You won at so. hoarding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. win at life when it comes to hoarding. <laughs> so, so yeah. So I think... Um, Jess, I think you put into perspective for me that like I should learn to let go of a lot of things mm -hmm. that like are just going to end up sitting there for a long time. And if I need it, then I'll just get it again. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. feel like a lot of times people don't actually ever need half the crap that they hold on to. But yeah, yeah, it's yeah. very true. Yeah, I definitely want to do that. But um, when I donate stuff, I somehow see it recycled back within the house. And I'm like, well, what the fuck? Why is this here? My mom was like, oh, yeah, I thought I could use it for something. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> saved the thing you were trying to get rid of. That yeah. is next level hoarding that it cycles back oh, into your house. Funny. Literally. And I think one time I was like just trying to donate this shirt and it was like Tommy Hilfiger, but it was like so old and it was like too small for me. And my mom was like, you're, you're, you're donating this like such a beautiful shirt. And I was like, <laughs> uh, and like the way that it translates, I guess like in Chinese, right? It sounds like it's beautiful, but she means like this valuable shirt mm, because yeah. of name brand. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, it doesn't fit me. She's like, then I'll take it. <laughs> I was like, okay, you tiny. Can, you can Either they wear it. it or they can use it as a rag for something. Yeah. <laughs> so to me, I'm like, 
I gotta yeah. learn. I gotta learn how to do it. And I have. I've donated a lot of stuff and I've donated a lot of clothes. I learned that I have to donate it myself directly mm-hmm. to where yeah, I need it to yeah. be. So it doesn't get recycled. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's what I did too. I recently um my housekeepers are really cute. They're like, Hey, do you have any clothes that we can just whatever and we can donate to Puerto Rico? I'm like, Yeah. And I went through my whole house and just got rid of a bunch of stuff. And then I realized I still have way too much stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> and you still don't wear your own stuff. I recycle my clothes to my friends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. For the episodes. For the episodes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everyone's in them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because I was getting ready upstairs. And then I just see uh, Gina going first. And she was like, oh, this is really cute. Yeah. And I was like, oh, are you wearing Nikki's clothes? She's like, mm-hmm. It's like, other, like, if I don't, like, I'm just going to be wearing black all the time. Yeah. And I was like, oh, OK. And then as soon as Gina left... Jess walked in, yeah. and then I was like, <laughs> "I was like, oh, I'm are you steal Nikki's clothes? <laughs> then you have to bring like yeah. clothes. Yeah. Like, yeah. I you have to, to bring fly. wardrobe changes. Yeah, it's awesome. I have to fly, so I just bring a backpack now, and I'm like, I'm just gonna wear Nikki stuff because mm-hmm. the comments just keep roasting me about wearing the same like five yeah. shirts all the time. I'm like, I don't like shopping. I don't care. Mm-hmm. At least mm-hmm. we all wear the same size. Yeah, yeah. that's well until Tiff gets too baby. Yeah. yeah, too much baby selfish. in her selfish. belly. It's just so selfish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We could have been one of us, Tiff. No. So this is a great setup. <laughs> yeah, she is in my shirt right now. You, yeah, you still fit a little. Yeah. All right. What has brought you the most unexpected joy recently? Unexpected? All my joy is expected. <laughs> 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 Wait, when is joy ever expected? Usually, like, joy is because of like. I feel like I create my joy. Unex- I'm like, this is boring. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a house. <laughs> okay, yeah. What else can I do? I'm gonna Don't go play you poker. think though that joy is usually typically no? unexpected because like the mm-hmm. spark of joy is usually like it's not something you planned, but it's like that that kind of like. Um, I don't know that spice of life where like yeah. you find joy in things that maybe you didn't expect to happen. So I feel like all joy is usually. I mean, no, I mean you can plan unexpected. a joy. You like, like kind of know what things yeah. do bring you joy though, and yeah. then like maybe sometimes, yeah, maybe so- <laughs> Tips pointing at her pregnant belly. Mm-hmm. She's, you think that's going to be a joyful activity, having a baby? <laughs> <laughs> you think yeah. that was unexpected? Yeah. Okay, yeah. it's an expected joy. Yeah. I'm getting to know Jess's life though. She's like. There's no joy unless it surprisingly comes up out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah. I'm like, if I plan to enjoy something, it usually disappoints yeah. me. So oh. joy is always unexpected and surprising. Mm. When the standards are low. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I great. just am constantly guided by like, oh, no joy here. Okay. Oh, this one. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then I just like eat it up. And then I'm like, where's more? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like a freaking ghost in the Pac-Man game. I think a joy can happen both ways where you can plan it or just unexpectedly happen. Yeah. 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 Probably yeah, so. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It should happen both ways. Yeah. Because like, obviously you're going to get some surprises. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of cool. But like, you have to take the action towards like, oh, this is feeling good, mm-hmm. you know? And then it like, oh, this came out of nowhere. Cool, because I was like following that direction. Mm-hmm. Or you could hit a stumbling block, but yeah. Um, un- so recently, unexpected joy. So I had a lot of joy, but all of it was like kind of expected. I found that uh, found a house that I really like, but I don't want to, I just, I don't know if we're going to get it, but like, right. it's, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, joyful it's joyful to, to find to, something you're excited about. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I released like, new jewelry pieces that I was really excited about because I've been designing them for a long time and they've been just like living in my head and mm-hmm. now they're like getting released in the world but I kind of like was hoping for that feeling and then it did happen mm. yeah I don't know I, don't, mm. I came in to stay with you for the weekend like that was expected that was expected <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we we expected my joy <laughs> we yeah. the you're, you're fucking going back on your own statement yeah. <laughs> and it, it disappointed you know yeah. <laughs> Like every time I try to plan I don't my joy, you. I don't blame you. I understand. Oh, oh, I have a lot of joy. I'm very blessed. <laughs> I was like, oh, I thought this was going to be joyful. Unexpectedly had a terrible time. Maybe it's coming still. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Okay, so finish the sentence. When I'm hurt, I blank. And it's with, oh, it says both players. Oh, why do you keep getting joint ones? I don't know, yeah. but do it, it doesn't with Gina tell me this who. time. It doesn't yeah. tell do it with me Gina, because you, you and Nikki have done the group ones. Yeah, do it with Gina. Okay. okay. Uh, when I'm hurt, I blank. Okay. Uh, when I'm hurt, I shut people out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I have um, anxious attachment. Uh huh. So that means if something hurts me, I'm like, all right, I'm cutting you off because I don't need to deal with this right now. Mm-hmm. And that's avoidant. Oh, sorry. Oh, 
Yeah. Okay, never mind. I I have anxious, but I guess that's not a part of it. But um, what's the second half? It just oh, says no, it's when just I'm hurt, yeah. I blank. Oh, when okay. I'm hurt, I yeah. shut people out. Like I kind of disappear for a little bit. I cut people out, and I don't talk to anyone. And I just sit at home and play games, and I don't see the sun. See, like a cat. Yeah. So you're cats all, are, hurt, they are just you hide. always hurt then? Because you're always yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. It's worse out. when I'm hurt. Oh, okay. Like really bad. Um, it used to be when I'm hurt, I will say something to hurt you back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I learned like a long time ago that my friend, my friend told me when I was like 23 or so, he's like, dude, when you lash out, it's really, it's mean, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. So I stopped doing that. But for me now, it's just, I just cut you off. Dang. That's probably healthier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not creating more damage. Though. Yeah. Yeah. When, when you're hurt, what do you do, Julia? Uh, I just get sad. I get sad and then I get quiet. And then um, if I'm quiet for a long time and then I think about like what hurt me, then I start crying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Like that's how I kind of like process it. But then like I think I wouldn't be able to talk to whoever hurt me just like for a while. Yeah. But it doesn't have to be like a long time. It really depends. You have on, to like, process it first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like if I were to try to process my emotions live. Yeah. It's I think a lot of it gets just miscommunicated mm-hmm. and misunderstood. And then people are like, what do you mean by that? And we're just like, I don't, I don't know, know what yet. I mean yet. It's like, I'm just saying this. And it's like, but you should already know like that I'm not trying to do that. I was like, I know, mm. but I don't know. Emotions aren't <laughs> yeah. logical. Yeah. You have to like find the thing. But yeah. it's funny because someone like me, I can argue my emotions immediately. As soon as I feel it, I already have like a 10 page PowerPoint presentation of why you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude, so, see, I, I, want, yeah. I want kind of that balance because it's just like sometimes for the people that I do face where they're like, I want to talk about it now. I'm like, fuck, like how can I yeah. put words together to mm-hmm. let them know that like I can't fully do it. Yeah, to communicate. Yeah. Like you need a little bit of time. Yeah, and like when I tell them, they're like, no, let's just do it now. I'm like, mm. oh, come on. No, that's me. Yeah. That's yeah. helpful to hear that because sometimes I don't understand like when people can't, you know, like already understand the situation and already like discuss it with me. I'm yeah. that I'm probably that person. I'm like, you can't mm. fucking figure this shit out right now. Yeah. Like, what's yeah. your problem? Like, are you hiding something? Yeah. Or I'm like, what's wrong with you? Yeah. Some people like, need to step away. You're lying about it. Yeah. Some yeah. people need to step away. Like, yeah. I I know that when I, I get very angry, I have to step away before mm-hmm. I say things wrong. Mm-hmm. Or you know. Yeah. That's a, that's if you want to protect a relationship for sure. And yeah. I will do that too. Mm-hmm. Like I won't immediately say everything i'm thinking if i really want to protect a relationship too but sometimes if i'm like if i don't give a fuck i'm just gonna fucking say it immediately Mm -hmm. yeah 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 i demand it i feel like if i'm too emotional i can't articulate my emotions yet like i can't tell you I'm like you, yeah, like yeah, where, yeah. like if I'm too emotional, it's like my uh, my heart, uh, heart is in my throat. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm trying to say things, but like I'm so emotional that like it's all coming out jumbled, mm-hmm. and I just would rather be composed to like work through it with the person. Be yeah. Like, okay. Here's mm-hmm. why, and this is why I felt this way. And blah, blah, blah. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, That's it can make it. Yeah, it can make I can, it. Like, yeah, worse. I can definitely attack first, very logically, and then I'll feel it later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like. That's perfect in a work setting. Maybe. Yeah, because yeah. I wouldn't want to cry at work. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> which is which sucks. I hate that. Yeah. Like my emotions are just right here, like all yeah. the time, like they're yeah. right fucking here. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I think in ultimately it's it's healthier to let them out than to suppress oh, them. Oh yeah. Yeah. At no, least. definitely. And I just feel like in a work setting, if you do stay quiet, it's just kind of like you're accepting what they're saying. Yeah. As a you fact. get run over. Yeah. And yeah. I'm just like, I don't, I don't want that. I want to be able to present my argument like while still sounding like I'm not emotional mm-hmm. either. And yeah. Because like, then you get put in this category of like, oh, you're too emotional. You're yeah. not, you're not making any sense. Like, yeah. You're not logical. Yeah. It's know invalidated. They can walk over you. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. when they, when they do walk over you and you can't instantly like, like stop it or whatever, mm-hmm. then like mm-hmm. you become the person that gets walked over. And then yeah. later on you're like, but, but you know this, you know, and then there's just, it's not strong enough. Yeah. yeah. And then, it, you know, it sucks. I was valid. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, wow. We are at the oh, end of our already. hour. <gasps> um, but thank you so much, Julia, for joining oh, us. Let us know in the comments me. if you want us to keep playing more of these games. Is I feel like I'm learning new things about everybody each time we play. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is only the second time, but um, it's been really, really fun, like getting to know you on a yeah. deeper level. Also, check out Julia wherever she is. She's on Instagram. Blue is it still Blue Apples? Yeah, X Blue Apples. X Blue With Apples. Z we'll put it end. in the description. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then any anything else going on that you want to let people know about? 
clothing. She's like, no, I'm not TBD. an influencer now. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't know. I mean, I I want to be active on my YouTube, but I always say that. Yeah, and you never I just do. Never what do. about the yeah. animation show that you work on? Um, oh, yeah, there's a few. I worked on some Area 21 music videos. Go Ooh. check that out. It's on YouTube. Um, and the Netflix show Q Force. Yay! There I know go. that got a lot of controversy, but you know, just watch it. Give it a try. Give it. What a is try. it? Q Force. Yeah, Q Force. Oh, Standing for. Up. Queer Force. Oh, oh cute. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I well, just you. got to see you. Again. Oh, she's so also going to be in another episode. So stay tuned because mm-hmm. she will be coming back in a future episode. And also check out our sponsors. Let them know that we sent you. It really helps uh, uh, the show out a lot. And uh, like, comment, do all that stuff. Mm, get rate us on iTunes. All that good stuff. You already know. And we will see you next time. Love Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.